Norwich Cathedral is one of the most famous cathedrals in Norwich. We are talking the second tallest spire in the UK, stained glass depictions of Norwich celebs through the ages, and the largest collection of medieval roof bosses in the world, which are these things, apparently. Hello, Andy. From not holding their liquor to a chat with a vicar, time to meet Reverend Andy Bryant. Now, why are we here? Well, that's a very deep, profound question, but I'm going to take the simple answer, because if you come to Norwich, you've got to come to Norwich Cathedral. You're standing in a building which is over 900 years old. That's old. That's old. I want to show you the greatest treasure we have in the cathedral. First stop is the Dee Spencer Retable, a painting from the 14th century thought to be lost for hundreds of years. Then about the 1850s, there was a meeting in the upstairs area of the cathedral. One of the people, their pencil rolled off the table. They bent down to pick it up, looked at the underside of the table. Ta-da! That. Okay. that there, that's what you got. They didn't really look hard for it, though, did they, then? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, it's there. Yeah. Right, yeah. <laughs> the guy in the middle panel, his clothing, he is on point right there. He's got the red cape on yeah. with the... I think that would suit you. Yeah, I know. I, 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 I was looking you, at that style. I think, I think you should try that. With this hand? Yeah, you've got it. Hopefully I wouldn't be killing Jesus while uh, I'm doing no, it. No, no, no. <laughs> I wouldn't want to do that yeah. part, but I'd just be standing there. Next, Andy reveals the secrets under the monk's seats, otherwise known as misericords. In this ancient building, here is a modern misericord wow. revealing Norwich City Football Club. There is just one problem with that. Norwich Football Club is rubbish. Oh, you can't say that when you're in the city. Yeah, which is it. She's got to. a very good point. OK, so we didn't stay up in the Premiership, but we'll go back. So you've got to go put some real hours into prayer to get that one yeah. done. I love Andy. As a gay person is not religious, and never considered becoming a vicar's wife until today. Have you ever had a Rolo? A yeah. Rolo? Yeah. You've had a Rolo? I love a Rolo. Well, the toffee inside Rolos used to be made inside this. No. Yeah. This particular... This is a vat, reshaped, repurposed into a font. This is where we baptise our babies. A caramel baptism. Does that still count? Caramel baptism? Caramel, I've, I've never tried one. This is a fancy church. You are a fancy man. We need to go. Come on! It's been lovely having you, and enjoy the rest of this fine city. Oh, we will! And tasting, tasting, and then some more tasting. Vine Yardy, John Hemant, shows them how to enjoy wine. I recommend opening your mouth and chucking it back. I love wine. Gemelli, do you like it? Sadly not, but I'm willing to have my mind changed. OK. It's a lot of pressure on your wine, sir. Yeah, I know. Yeah. <laughs> First up, it's the liquid you use to get red wine stains out of carpet. So if I actually look at it to see uh, the colour... It looks like a white wine. OK. Yeah. Would it be more lemon, straw in colour? White. I will call it like mustard. No! Oh, was I not meant to drink it? <laughs> you got a <laughs> no. smell it! I like that. It's to be converted him already. I think I jumped the gun a little bit. I kept on downing them. I didn't realise I had to smell it and look at it, and I just wanted to just, you know. And what have we got there? Wow. Like pineapple. Pineapple, very good. You're very good at this, Rosie. Yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do we drink it? Yep. Yeah. yeah, we can drink it. One of the ways is to is to make sure that you get some oxygen into it as you as you are drinking it. That's, he's very good. Did he say you hadn't drunk any wine before? For £20 per person, you'll be given a thorough tour of the vineyard and learn all sorts of wine-tasting skills that'll make you look cool and sophisticated. This has got... So the other one had... Um, this one... A little bit more... Um... It weren't bad. I, I, it's, I still, I'm still not a big fan of wine. I don't get it. It all tastes the same, really. It all tastes like wine. So this is 2008. Oh. <laughs> I think Rosie's a bit drunk. Go. 
fermentation tonight. Alas, <laughs> oh no, I. Oh, I'm feeling it. I did not know they made wine in Norwich. <laughs> And now, and now, I go. <laughs> I'm a lady in the vineyard. <laughs> right, that was amazing. I will not walk straight now. Ooh. Can we get more white? Rojo, Sass from Channel 4. I hope the wine thing was cultural. I love you very much. Rosie, are you drunk again? I've only drunk one vineyard. Oh, my God! Like so many of Rosie's trips, this one ends with a massive fight. But on this occasion, it's professionally organised. Rosie's nabbed front row seats at the World Association of Wrestling. Wrestling in Norwich is huge. We've some celebrities in the house. To Bob Derek and Rosie Jones. But I didn't just want to watch a fight. I wanted to get in the ring. Wow, this planet makes you special birds. Right, oh, oh, Rosie, Rosie, leave it, leave it, leave it, leave it. In this not at all prearranged squabble, pro wrestler Tracy challenges Rosie to a fight. You're going to step into the ring in a tight team match tonight. Are you sure this is what you want to do? Easy, peasy, wow. Not in short that you're in the ring. Let's go, come on. Come on. Norwich Institution, the WAW, is also a wrestling school, and their story was turned into the film Fighting with My Family in 2019. Tickets to fights cost 20 quid, and in exchange, the audience want blood. I thought I'd do well, because who would punch a disabled girl? Apart from my Auntie Linda. Let's do this. Let's bring out our first tag team. Rosie Jones and Jamali Showbiz Maddox making their way to the ring. Tonight, Rosie's fight partner is Vanessa, and they're taking on resident bad girls Tracy and Leah Elise. Aren't wrestling names terrifying? Jamali shows off the skills he learned in cheerleading school. Are you guys ready to see Rosie Jones kick some ass? Yeah! Show them how we do it. Come Let's on. wrestle! Come on. I really enjoy wrestling, yeah. Oh. Oh. Theatre with fighting, isn't it? Oh. It's everything we sort of enjoy in spandex. Rosie's partner is beaten to within an inch of her life. How will a girl with cerebral palsy and no training survive this staged match? I was actually really nervous when I got into the ring. Come on, Rosie. But I thought, no, I'm making a travel show. What would Joanna Lumley do? So I unleashed. Hell. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, yeah, <laughs> but it all went wrong. <laughs> and I got a bit slappy. <laughs> but you know me, I'm a slapper. It was 
the best feeling ever. I think my trip to Norwich is built slowly and it's come to a massive crescendo of the wrestling. It's a good way to sort of end the trip, you know? I think if we'd done wrestling first and then went to the model train museum, it would have been weird. I fought three women just the average night in Norwich. Okay.